So we've got a piece of 20 millimeter grade 5 titanium here in our lathe chuck, collet chuck. And the drill I'm using, just get a better shot of this drill. What I've done is I've taken a, come on, there we go, taken a, a brand new drill, left one face intact, and ground one face back. What that does is it drills a slightly larger hole so that when the thermal expansion of the steel kicks in, it doesn't dig its elbows into the walls. Titanium being a very high tensile material, it has a high tool pressure. So you, when you get your starting center, you need to let it run a bit to take off the finest uh, shavings uh, so that it drills dead true. Now we've got quite a long drill here, it's a long series drill, 10 mil. Um, I've already drilled in from the back end and now we're coming in from the front. And I'll turn it on and show you the next part. Got a 110 RPM on the dial. This is just a spring cut to make sure it cuts true. Okay, everything's gone. Engage the feed. Wait for the backlash. It's on a fine feed and a slow RPM, so that'll take a little while. Here's my new tool post. 50 table twist lock block. 50 to 40 reducer. ER40 collet chuck. Oh, it looks like we're progressing now. Yeah? And you can see one flute's uh, thicker swarf than the other. That means it's cutting off centre, which means it's cutting larger, so it's got room for the thermal expansion. If you don't do this, Titanium tends to behave like high tensile butter with attitude issues. You can see a fine bit of swarf coming off. Disengage, break the chip, come back, get a bit of lube on it. Now I don't have coolant on this machine. Engage. So now I've got to drill 85 millimeters in and meet the other end.